The Royal Australian Air Force is charting a critical course to modernize its pilot training capabilities through Project AR-6002 Phase 1, a multi-billion dollar initiative to replace its aging fleet of 33 BA Systems Hawk Mach 127 lead-in fighter aircraft. With a planned withdrawal date of 2032, the Hawk Mach 127, in service since 2000, has served as a vital bridge for pilots transitioning from the Pilatus PC-21 trainer to advanced combat platforms like the F-35A Lightning II, F-A-18F Super Hornet, and E-A-18G Growler. However, its 1970s-era design, despite recent upgrades, struggles to meet the demands of preparing aircrew for fifth-generation warfare. The RAF's search for a new lead-in fighter training system is driven by the need for advanced simulation, open mission system architecture, and compatibility with modern fighter cockpits, all while balancing cost, capability, and strategic priorities. With an estimated budget of four to five billion Australian dollars, the program aims to deliver a system that will serve until 2050, supporting both pilot and weapon systems operator training as well as secondary roles like adversary simulation for the Australian Defence Force. The journey to replace the Hawk began in earnest with a request for information issued in June 2020, inviting industry responses to shape the RAF's requirements. The RFI drew interest from global aerospace giants, including Boeing, Leonardo, Korea Aerospace Industries, and BAE Systems, each proposing platforms tailored to Australia's needs. The process was briefly paused by the 2023 Defense Strategic Review, which reassessed ADF priorities, but the RF remains committed to signing a contract by 2027 to achieve entry into service by 2030. The new lifts must feature cutting-edge technology, such as digital cockpits that emulate fifth-generation fighters, and support surrogacy, allowing pilots to train in environments mimicking frontline aircraft at a fraction of the cost, estimated at 8,000 to 10,000 USD per flying hour, compared to the exorbitant rates of operating an F-35. Additionally, the system must integrate advanced simulators and training devices to create a seamless training pipeline, ensuring aircrew are combat ready for Australia's increasingly complex security environment. Among the leading contenders, Boeing's T-7A Red Hawk stands out as a front-runner. Developed for the U.S. Air Force's TX program, the T-7A is a single-engine, twin-tail jet trainer powered by a General Electric F-404 turbofan. Its open mission system architecture and digital engineering allow for rapid upgrades in cockpit configurations that mirror the F-35, making it ideal for surrogacy. Boeing, which began deliveries to the USAF in 2023, pitched the T-7A at the 2023 Avalon Air Show, emphasizing its low operating costs and proven production line. Despite software and safety system delays pushing USAF production decisions to 2025, the T-7A's modern design aligns closely with Australia's requirements. Boeing's global ambition to sell over 20,700 T-7As positions Australia as a key market, though supply chain competition from programs like the U.S. Navy's tactical surrogate aircraft could pose challenges. Leonardo's M346 Master is another strong contender, offering a twin-engine jet trainer with a proven track record in air forces like Italy and Israel. Equipped with a glass cockpit, POTAS controls, and simulated weapons and sensors, the M346 excels in lead-in training and light attack roles. Leonardo confirmed its interest in the RAF program in 2020, leveraging the platform's versatility and global adoption. Similarly, KI's T-50 Golden Eagle, a supersonic trainer light attack jet powered by the same F-04 engine as the T-7A, brings high performance and combat capabilities. Used by South Korea and other nations, the T-50 is well-suited for transitioning pilots to advanced fighters, though recent updates on its RAF candidacy are sparse. Textron Scorpion, a light attack trainer jet, was also mentioned in the RFI, but is considered a long shot due to its primary combat focus. 
BAE Systems, the Hawk's manufacturer, has proposed a refurbished and re-engined Hawk, aligning it further with the RAF's Hawk T2 standard. This option leverages Australia's existing infrastructure, supporting 350 jobs and 180 local businesses. Recent upgrades, including a $1.5 billion Australian dollars sustainment contract, 2021 to 2031, and a Rolls-Royce Adore MK951 engine refit by 2025, have extended the Hawk's viability, addressing past issues like engine reliability and wing fatigue. The 2019 Lead-In Fighter Capability Assurance Program added simulated radar, electronic warfare systems, and CAE full mission simulators, bringing the Hawk closer to modern standards. However, its aging airframe and limited growth potential may relegate this option to a stopgap rather than a long-term solution, especially as fifth-generation training demands outpace the Hawk's capabilities. The Hawk's current status adds complexity to the replacement timeline. With about one-third of its verified fatigue life remaining, the fleet could potentially serve beyond 2032, a possibility the RF is exploring to mitigate budget constraints or DSR-driven delays. The F-35 fleet's high operational costs further underscore the need for a cost-effective trainer, making surrogacy a critical requirement. The DSR's focus on immediate regional threats may also influence the program's scope, potentially prioritizing platforms with secondary combat roles. As the RAF refines its requirements, industry engagement continues, with no formal request for proposal issued yet. The deferred industry briefing at the 2023 Avalon Air Show suggests ongoing deliberation, likely shaped by strategic and fiscal considerations. Australia's search for a Hawk replacement is a high-stakes endeavor, balancing technological ambition with pragmatic realities. The T-7A's modern design and surrogacy potential make it a compelling choice, but the M346 and T-50 offer proven alternatives with combat versatility. A Hawk upgrade, while cost-effective, risks falling short of future needs. The decision, expected by 2026, will shape the RAF's training pipeline for decades, ensuring pilots are equipped to defend Australia's interests in an increasingly contested Indo-Pacific. For the latest updates, stakeholders should monitor the Australian Department of Defence, Ostender, or events like the 2025 Avalon Airshow, where further clarity on Project Air 6002 may emerge. <laughs>